Now, for those that are regular viewers of this channel, and thankfully there's quite a few, you get to know each other well. You know what I like, I know what you like, you see. And I love sharing bits of history about London with you that, you know, you see every day or you walk past every day and you think to yourself, well, really, was that there, truly? This little investigation I found, and I kind of wanted to share it with you because it all starts here, in the very heart of London's Victoria. Now, for many people who've been to London and you've decided to travel out and go to those wonderful places uh, on the Sussex coast, you know, Eastbourne, Worthing, Brighton, there's so much beauty down there, the Sussex Downs. And if you want to know a bit of uh, celebrity gossip, this particular station was a hive of activity at the very heart of theatre in the 1940s right through to the 60s because they had the Brighton Bell. And on that Brighton Bell, you could get to meet the likes of Sir Laurence Olivier when they were appearing in theatre up in the West End because they would travel back to their homes down in Brighton, Sussex, Worth and all that sort of stuff. So it really was a bit of a celebrity catch. But it's this particular gem I wanted to share with you today because it is a new theatre that was adjacent to the Buckingham Palace Road entrance on Platform 19. What a beauty it looks, eh? Now, this was opened way back on the 12th of September, 1933. And it was literally less than a penny you could go in to watch the newsreels of the day. If you want to sort of liken it too, of course, breaking news, rolling news. Now we have Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that sort of stuff. But remember when news channels were big, it all really started here. As we said before here on the show, nothing is truly new. I think what's fascinating is the fact that uh, it was one of those particular little gems that people discovered, but it had one drawback apparently. Oh yes, it didn't have any public conveniences, so you had to trudge all the way back down <laughs> into the station concourse if you needed to literally spend a penny. The Victoria New Station Theatre was a quite an amazing little cinema. It was positioned over the concourse of the station with just a small but personally highly stylized entrance, pay box and staircase at ground floor level, leading to the very first floor auditorium. Now this contained a single flat floor with seating divided into three blocks, two outer with four seats and a central block of seven seats per row. The auditorium was held of like barrel shaped with an attractive proscenium arch. It also had this huge large clock on the left hand side of the screen so that people could keep an eye on the time should they have to dash to get their train. The theatre itself was specially insulated against any noise and vibration from the railway station outside so it was perfectly acceptable to have a quick snooze before jumping onto your train. He never actually moved on to presenting feature films. One of the major drawbacks was that it had, as I said, no conveniences. But what it did do, and this was a bit of a bonus for, you know, ladies and gentlemen with children, it turned into a cartoon cinema. So you could place your child in there and they were looked after for you. And then you could collect them, say, if you wanted to go for a drink at one of the bars or indeed just simply, you know, amble around and have some time to yourself. They were perfectly safe and always looked after by the attentive staff. Sadly, like all good things, it closed in August 1981. And one of the final featurettes that it showed was the coronation of 1937. It was packed out for days, apparently, when it first showed that, as you can imagine. It's fitting, isn't it, to think that a news theatre was showing the coronation in a station that was named after a monarch that had ruled for so long, almost as long as our present <laughs> latest monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Victoria, that's right. They named the station in uh, honour, of course, because literally she was round the corner at Buckingham Palace, came to visit it, came to see it. If you've never been to Platform 19, you can still see it there. Sadly, the new station now is all removed, but the memories linger on for many. And if you want to know exactly some of these gems that are around London, keep tuned, because as we find them, we'll share them with you. But for now, breaking news is simply no longer at Victoria Station. Neil Sean in the very heart of London at Victoria Station.